Hey viewers, welcome to another edition of other games I guess. And this is Bloons Tower Defense 4 and we're going to make a re well uh, an another version of um Well let's go medium I guess. Yeah, I don't want to do too much. Um we're going to make another video on well because my, my previous one didn't really work, I'm going to set this one to Strong? Yeah, I don't care. And uh, let's fast forward. So the uh, the one on the side of uh, Ninja, Ki Ninja Kiwi uh, actually has a fast forward button that you don't have to hold, which is great. Um, let's upgrade this. I don't care. So I used to know exactly how to play this and now I don't know anymore so I'm just going to make another one. So as I said yesterday's video the sound didn't actually work. Um, yeah that was kind of a shame because it was kind of a good good run but we're going to try to do something else here. Oh yeah I have to build something else. Hang on. Uh, not long range. Let's make this one into piercing as well. Because normally I would buy some airplanes here, but it seems that I re uh, I, I uh, deleted my cache or whatever it is that stores this or my cookie, and I have to restart the whole game, which is not very fun. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, I will be able to uh, to get the level anyway, but it's a lot f more fun for me to uh, to play with uh, just airplanes. Although the airplanes make it lag a little bit. So the idea of the game is to uh oh yeah, my career rank is four now. Wow, used to be a lot higher. But the idea of the game is to kill all of the balloons, <laughs> which are yeah, well, the enemy here. And I am going to put another one at 360. So let's fast forward for now. And there we go. Now, come on. There we go. Um, I have no idea when the well, I need a cannon, so I need to build a cannon at some point, I know that, but... Yeah, whatever. Uh, cannons are 700. don't really like the cannons in the, the uh, uh, number 3, I think, so Bloons Tower Defense 3. The cannons were by far the most powerful to, uh, to take out any number of balloons. But I don't think that's the case in this uh, in this version. This version, the airplanes are the strongest, uh, especially once upgraded with the Pineapple Express, which is exactly what I wanted to show here. But yeah, didn't work out that way. So still not 700, and I will need to gain some uh, some levels in my rank before I can actually upgrade to the cooler towers. So probably should have played another game first, uh, but then again, where's the fun in that? So an ice tower doesn't really do a whole lot yet with my current amount of gold, and there we go. Um, going to build it here. I'm going to shoot at the last because that way I get the most splash damage. So it won't shoot at single balloons, it will just shoot at uh, the whole bunch coming from the spawn. And there we go. So probably need another one of those right here. No, I'm going to build it here because the uh, 
the bombs that he shoots actually do have travel time so if you build them too far away from the track they will miss and uh, you won't get any hits so even though you have a huge range it's not really useful the mortar tower is somewhat useful oh, let's put this one to last as well and there we go the Morse Tower just shoots like the cannon does, but only shoots at one region of the map. And doesn't need to be near the region of the map. So it just keeps shooting as long as there's balloons on the, on the field. Even though there may not be any balloons in the region you're shooting at. Well, the advantage of the airplanes is that they don't take up any ground space. Because your ground space is really valuable especially in these kind of levels where there isn't a whole lot of ground space and now I have my pineapples which are quite useful they uh, cause an explosion after 3 seconds although it's 3 game seconds and I'm afraid the game lags quite a lot in the later parts and uh, let's see if we need to do anything here because no, it seems fine so I'm still not sure what the actual routing through this uh, this maze is. I know they go something like this, and then this, and then this, and then I don't know where they go out. So oh, probably this, and then go out or something. I don't know. Never had uh, the need, f felt the need to uh, to check that. And a glue gun. The glue gunner is one of my favorites, but that's a personal favorite because it doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to say it to the last, and yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, last. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, come on, sell. This one. Hmm. I don't care, I make mistakes in this game just as well as in any other game. So the the glue gunner kind of slows down the balloons and by upgrading it to a uh, glue soak it will stay that way. Oh. It will stay that way through uh, the whole round so even if you uh, yeah even if you kill the uh, the first layer of the balloon it will still be slowed and it is quite kind of useful I will need to upgrade it to more levels in time but uh, for now this is fine and we are just going to fast forward through all of this so now he for example only hits one target and let's see if anything is going to escape here so I'm not actually sure Seems I already lost some lives, but that's because I have no idea what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, playing around a little bit. So here's where the cannons come in, or the pineapples, and um, they are going to have to clean up some. Uh, too late. I clicked outside of the window and therefore lost my spikes. So I lost another two lives, doesn't really matter. This is not uh, a demonstration of how to play this game. If you want to know that then go to one of the other many many videos about this. This is just to show you the game. Man. It is a fun game. I think it's really well designed in the matter of that it's fun to play and that there's still a challenge if you go to the higher levels. Um, yeah, let's put some uh, some explosives down. Because the explosives are relatively cheap and they clean up quite a lot of balloons. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I cannot really afford this yet. Again, going outside of the 
grid and therefore losing two more lives. Um, I'm probably going to have to add something to the field here. Oops, losing a lot of lives here. Um, I'll upgrade this one as well, and if I can upgrade it to something better, that would be awesome. These, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're called tech shooters. They're really good if you upgrade them. And especially if you upgrade them to the last level, but I need to be level 31 to do that. That's why I should have probably played a few more games before actually going into this. Um, yeah, I'm going to lose some more lives here. But that's okay. So I have 92 left out of 150 or something to start with. And that's mainly because, well... I uh, I started off with some uh, some problems because well didn't really have anything to to use. I could only use the uh, these monkeys, and normally that's that's normal because well early game you cannot do anything else. But now I have so much uh, gold or money that I really don't have anything to do with it. And I'm just going to plant some more of these, even though they're not really useful. They are still going to come in useful until I get something else that is more useful. So I'm going to upgrade them to piercing darts so that they can shoot two at a time. I have no idea what they uh, level up into. Uh. So, yeah, let's let's range up one of them. Oh yeah, they they level up into the spiker bolts. And let's see if they can actually manage to, wow, clean it up. Um, yeah, doesn't really matter. So I'm hoping I can actually pass the, uh, the higher rounds on this as well, because I'm not going to have a whole lot of uh, stuff here with the best thing I can do now being the cannon, I guess. That's the one I was looking for, although I cannot really level it up sufficiently. This one is is great on this map because as you can see the uh, the pattern kind of matches with uh, well with the field. So it flies into uh, a pattern eight. And that's also the field shape, so that's great. And I'm going to have to build another one on the other side as well. So especially the pineapples do a very good amount of damage. 
and especially if you have a lot of these uh, airplanes. Yeah, that's not useful at all. I'm going to build some more of these airplanes if they want to be built anyway. Yeah, I don't know what the problem of this game is uh, with the fact that I never seem to be able to uh, place them. It seems that I remember where they're being built and then I cannot build two of them at the same time, uh, at the same place. But they're airplanes, they shouldn't take up any of the, uh, the grounds. And now you can see, I cannot build it anywhere. There we go. And now I should be fine in the manner of killing all of them. So I'm going to level up this one, and I'm going to level up this one into spy planes. Because then I can see the uh, camouflage balloons. And now it's just a matter of getting more and more golds and making more and more airplanes. No, oh. oh, come on. I'm so bad at this. And at this point, I think I already won all of this. That's the one I like. And that's a personal preference. It's not really good. Uh, well, it's not really a good monkey. But it's a fun monkey. I'm uh, going to put in Whirlwind on him. Which blows all of the balloons it hits back to the original starting locations. It's kind of expensive and therefore not as good as the airplanes. If it was cheaper or if the airplanes were more expensive, they would be, uh, yeah, there would be a bit of balance. But yeah. And again, this is a fun game and there's no need to balance it, basically. You can win with virtually any combination, but you need a combination of things that uh, explode and things that actually penetrate, so like the uh, the darts. I don't have 2000 yet. Um, so three more waves until we get something really nasty. Some firepower. Super Monkey! Yeah, Super Monkey used to be really good in the earlier versions. Nowadays, it's not as good anymore. My level and uh, level 50, I might be able to upgrade this one. It's 90. So I need only one more, uh, which is the factory. The banana factory or whatever it's called. And that allows me to get more money without doing anything. Which is always a good thing. Uh, I forgot which one it is. This is the one. As you can see, there's pineapples everywhere now, and uh, 
That's exactly what we want for round 50, which is the next round. So we're going to build all of the airplanes that I can possibly afford. And this might take a while because they don't really build everywhere at the same uh, at any time. Come on, build. And there we go. So the uh, Route 50 comes in with uh, some of these Zeppelins and they're really hard to kill. But with the Pineapple Express it's no problem, it's a banana farm. And we're going to build one here. Banana farm gives you extra money at the end of each round. So and even though there's only like 10 rounds remaining, I'm still going to build them. And if you continue after you uh, you manage to kill, well, the, uh, the end boss, or well, if you manage to succeed the game, you can continue on, and then the banana farms really give you a lot of profits. Uh, I now get 600 because of my banana farms. So this one gives me uh, 250, and this one gives me 250 as well. Okay. So that's sick. Didn't know. <laughs> I've already upgraded the second one to be uh, the same as the first one. So this one now 120. And that's it. So by now, with uh, this many explosions, they probably won't escape anymore. But you still have to be a little bit lucky here. And at some point you are going to miss some. But it's normally around wave 100 or something like that. I'll put some, uh, some of these screenshots in there of higher rounds after I finish to 60 because this one, so the medium is 60 rounds but as I said the next few will not be a problem because of the amount of airplanes and the amount of gold because by now I can build whatever I want as long as it's not too expensive and had I already had all of the uh, the upgrades, so all of these I would have built a lot better towers. But yeah, cannot do that yet. So I've uh, unlocked my first uh, well end stage of a tower. And this one is actually uh, increased damage to uh, all of the big zeppelin type uh, thingies. And that comes in really handy in the later rounds. And at the end of the round I will probably get a lot of golds. And, um, yeah, there you go. 900 gold, so I can uh, upgrade one of the uh, one of the the towers into well the higher level. Uh, in two levels, that will be uh, standard monkeys, the dart monkey. But for now, I'll build another banana factory, banana farm. So I might want to save up for a Banana Republic by now, which is 2500, and there you go. So the next one is the Banana Laboratory or something like that, a research facility. And the 
banana research facility is only uh, well the upgrades are only available at uh, rank uh, 28 oh that was wrong <laughs> but I will be able to upgrade this one into a banana republic and there you go So this is definitely not not worth your money if you uh, if you go for uh, only 60 levels, and this is level 60. That's what you want. Because this one actually it's a big zeppelin which generates four smaller zeppelins, and uh, yeah, all in all, that's a huge number of balloons. And it does now actually give me the 2,500 I wanted. So this was medium, and here it says keep playing. Well, I will do that, but I will also uh, well cut off this video. So just a little demonstration of this game. It's a really fun game. You can play it virtually anywhere. Just Google it, and you'll find uh, a site. I personally play on uh, Congregate, which is one of the many websites for flash games, and um, yeah, it is fun. So that's it for now. I'll see you next time.